My name's Graham Crossan, the company's GJ Plastics Limited. Uh, we've been in business for 27 years. Uh, we produce uh, display products for retail and events and also uh, various signage for festivals and shops etc. Having started off with the basic uh, 3D printers, more, more for obvious, uh, but I found that using them 24 hours a day, seven days a week, it, they were re not really up to the standard of quality and reliability. So uh, having researched the market, I discovered uh, the Raze 3D Pro and uh, it's more industrial. Uh, the quality is far supersedes anything else. Uh, it's virtually injection molding quality. It's out absolutely outstanding. Uh, it allows me to uh, design any kind of shape or fixture of fixing and prototype uh, to develop it, work out a method of uh, producing them for displays that are extremely cost effective compared to having them manufactured, uh, designed and manufactured by other sources. In aluminium I usually send my designs and have them produced, but <laughs> they probably are significantly more expensive to do that. I mean, for instance, one part that we've produced, it was £1.50 per unit. Uh, we're now producing it by the time we do the, through the inserts and the 3D print, we're probably looking at 25 pence. Up to now, we've produced, in the last 10 weeks, about 20,000. People psychologically need to get their head around the fact that if it takes a day to produce, say, 60 components, it's not a true 24 hours of labour cost because the only real labour cost is two minutes to set it up and two minutes at the end to take it off. So, really, your, your labour cost is 60 components divided by four minutes, which then becomes very, very cost effective. The reason we purchased from 3D Great Britain and Ireland is because from having conversations and looking on the website, not only do they stock a lot of parts for the machine, the support they give uh, is a life, lifetime support and it's absolutely fantastic. You pick up the phone, they will help you, they will profile a, a material for you if you're having any problems with it. Uh, and basically, I would say it's 10 out of 10, you know, and it's the kind of company that you want to deal with. Uh, obviously, uh, COVID-19 did have uh, effects as it affected on all companies. Uh, I designed uh, a vast range of protection screens, sanitizing stands, etc., uh, which we put out in the market. Uh, we do uh, a lot of universities, hospitals, airports, uh, and many, many shops and retail environments with these protection screens and temperature pods, etc. Uh, so it, it meant we had to adapt quickly, develop things quickly. Uh, the 3D printers played a massive part in that, that we could do, help us develop uh, products, you know, component parts for the products. And uh, simply without it, I don't believe that we would be able to adapt as quick. I think the thing with the 3D Race Pro 2 is it is so reliable, uh, so we, we significantly lessens the downtime for production and uh, basically uh, that obviously means that you're continually keeping your profit margins because downtime means lost money. Uh, so we're very, very happy with them and uh, you know, we are having uh, ongoing plans to continue buying uh, quite a few more over the next 12 months. The actual 3D printing side, it's actually very easy to do the uh, software uh, to send to the 3D print itself. It's, it's very simple, extremely easy to use. Uh, so. Once you get your head around the 3D design, whether you're actually getting somebody to do the design for you or you buy the software and do it yourself, 3D printing then is very, very simple to do. One of the examples of uh, fixtures that uh, we've designed and produced is uh, 
this fixture here and basically it's, it's got an al aluminium extrusion it can literally slide through and then you can lock it into a place on a position and then we can actually put a shelving unit round or you know some sort of display product fitted onto that so it acts as a shelf and literally position it anywhere along the extrusions that you require smaller fixtures which have been designed and produced uh, and basically they'll all two pieces of material together so clamp on uh, so then you don't see a screw because the, the screw is actually underneath and you can't actually see that it looks like it's been all screwed together and it will combine a, a side and a shelf or etc et together in one piece and it's a, a nice looking feature they can produce in different colors we could probably produce them in white black uh, red blue green for instance if if somebody wants a specific color to support their product keep looking at www.gjplastics.co.uk and uh, you know you'll keep finding more products coming on that are utilizing 3d prints and some will be just 3d printing and some will be component parts that you know uh, fit into the products themselves if you're considering adopting additive manufacturing into your business or want to find out more visit www.3dgbire.com or give us a call on 01257 228 411 to speak to one of our experts.